Hi, I'm Maria, and I am a meditation teacher, and I'm a personal trainer, and I just wanted to talk to you for a minute about spirituality. It's kind of a crazy topic that people don't really talk about that much, but I'm really feeling like it's my calling to bring it to the surface of people's lives. And I'm laughing this morning because one of the things that one of the, that my most favorite teacher has taught me, uh, one time she was talking about how we don't really choose what we wear in the morning. Sometimes we just grab stuff off the shelves and we just put it on. We think we're deciding, but sometimes we aren't. So today I just have to laugh because I look down at my shirt that I'm wearing today and seriously, I gotta show it to you. I don't know if you can read it, but it says, we can survive. We can survive. And that is such an important message, obviously, but such an important message for our world right now in the times that we're in. It is pouring rain outside. And things are happening all over the world that are kind of scary. And we just need to remember that we will survive. I also want to share with you something funny that happened this morning at a meeting at my kid's school. They were talking about this award that they give at the high school in the drama department. And this award that they were talking about was called the Jimmy Award. And it reminded me that I know Jimmy Niederlander. That is who the award was for. And it just got me thinking about the first time I met him about 20 years ago. I was in the theater business. My office was in the Pantages Theater. I worked for David Green. I love him. But the very first time I met Jimmy Niederlander, it was around Halloween. And I'm not even kidding you. I was in a, an angel costume. I was in an angel costume. Wings, robe, halo, the whole business. And I remember Jimmy saw me for the first time and him laughing and just he always reminded me. Every time he saw me, he's like, oh, there's that angel. He was so cute. And so when I got home right now, I called David to talk to him about it and just say, hey, you know, just what a coincidence. I haven't talked to David in a while. And I didn't realize that Jimmy had passed away a few months ago. And he was such a funny guy. He just had so much energy. He was the loudest one in the room. You could hear his voice from down the hall. I always laugh because I'm like, he wasn't mad. He wasn't yelling. That's the way he talks. He's from New York. He's from Broadway. He is who he is. And I just loved him to death. And I haven't seen him in a very long time. And I was sorry to hear about his passing. But I just laughed because I was in an angel costume. And for my life, as it is right now with me teaching meditation, it's so funny because so many people have been approaching me after meditation class. And I cannot even tell you how many times I've heard, your voice is like an angel. Or people responding on Facebook to me saying, you are our angel on earth kind of thing. And it is so funny to me that I was in that costume for Jimmy, Jimmy Niederlander 20 years ago. Um, so I just thought I would share that with you. And uh, I thought it was kind of funny. Okay. Have a great day. And um, my condolences to the Niederlander family. I didn't realize Jimmy had passed, but I know Jimmy uh, Jr. is doing a great job, I'm sure, in New York, and I'm sure that Broadway is so blessed and still feeling all the benefits of Jimmy Sr.'s work during his whole life. Okay, have a great day. Bye.